it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel it's time for another chatty get ready with me if you are new what I do is just put on my makeup and tell you what's going on in my life I might tell you what I'm doing and then I might not explain what I'm doing so if you have any questions just leave them in the comments down below I try my best to answer all the comments I might not answer it right away but I will within the next few days usually of this video going up so let's get started I've already done my skincare and I've already put my primer on if I'm looking a little like dark circles and stuff I've not been sleeping well in fact I was going to film this and have it for my Friday uh, normal time of uploading and um, I didn't sleep hardly at all the night before and I'm like no so you're seeing it now but I still I have bags under my eyes and we'll get into all that okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and mix I'm still I still have some of this I and I can't tell where I'm at but these are the two I'm mixing um, and I have a white shirt on it might, might have been a bad idea let me go ahead and get a wipe out <laughs> just just in cases and I know I will use it so there we go last week I was at the beach with my in-laws my not all my well yeah, in-laws I was with my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law we went down to Myrtle Beach for a girls trip and we had a good time. Um, my sister-in-law, mainly uh, during the day, studied. She uh, has her real estate license. She and her father have a real estate company together. And she uh, just recently got, she's got her license for North Carolina. And she lives in Polk County, which is like two counties away down at the um, right at the um, border of South Carolina so she recently got her South Carolina's uh, real estate license I've already got makeup on this shirt <sighs> yeah it's not a good idea uh, so she got a real estate license for South Carolina and now she's studying to get her appraisal license so her father is the broker uh, within the firm. She, he's the broker. And so. And she told me her sister and her, her brother's girlfriend are now studying to get their real estate license. But um, her sister is a um, dental hygienist. But she said her sister was going to continue to do that and just like part-time real estate which I, I don't know so much about that but hey there we go all right we are going out tonight we are going to um, see a friend of ours Kip hits his 52nd birthday and they he had he's in a band he's the lead singer of a band along with them the guitarist Eric is a friend of ours and Willie T <laughs> Willie William he is um, the bassist and I don't know the drummer I did know the drummer that was in the band before really good friend of ours Luke uh, Luke has got some some really bad health problems and so he left the band like pre-COVID so they have a different drummer and I don't think they have a, a set drummer yet um, I think they just have guest drummers so I won't know the drummer but um, so yeah we're going to go hear them and uh, I think Brian's bass teacher Brian plays bass guitar my husband his bass teacher just won um, I don't know if he actually won the seat I think he did he's going to be on city council for Asheville pretty good his platform was the, we needed more working people on the council instead of lawyers and 
uh, wealthy businessman. And he won. So, but he's well known in the music side of Asheville. Uh, he plays in several different bands um, or by himself. And he is, he plays the regular bass like Brian plays or the stand up bass. So, yeah, he's Brian's bass teacher. Really nice guy. So, I think he's going to be there tonight. I don't think he'll be playing. I think he's just going to be there for his birthday. All right. Looks good. Uh, anything else going on? Right now, Brian and Nathan are at a Comic Con. Um, it's the one for here in Asheville. So, there's no, like... There's no big time uh, famous people at this one. Uh, it's just um, a lot of vendors, I think, with all kinds of things. Last year, Nathan got uh, some video games, and I think that's his goal today, to pick up some video games and, who knows, DVDs and, you know, pop vinyls, things like that. So, that will keep them busy for a while. And then, uh, Nathan's going to a movie this afternoon. I don't know what to see. And then, Brian and I are going to, out tonight for Kip's party. And then, tomorrow, Nathan's got another movie to see. And then, um, we're going to cook out tomorrow night. We've decided to fire up the grill and cook out some burgers which would be nice this will be the first time this season we haven't used the grill yet and our weather is gorgeous we're in the 90s which is hot but it is absolutely beautiful I'm drinking my sweet tea I've been packing away to the point where I'm where's that oh I've already packed it and it's in storage I'm at that point. <laughs> I'm at that point. I was looking for some things today and I'm like, okay. No, that's in storage. No, I've already packed that. Yeah, you never know what you're going to need until you need it and you don't have it. So, there we go. Uh, I was going to wear this shirt tonight, but now I have makeup on my breast. So, this shirt. It's not being worn tonight, so I have to rethink my outfit for tonight. And I think I'm going to go cool. Uh, I'm going to, it's at a brewery I've never been to. I don't know if it's indoor or outdoor. I don't know. But I do know I have to keep cool. Um, brows. We, when we got back from the beach, uh, while we were down there, my father-in-law uh, contacted my mother-in-law and told her that his aunt died. His aunt passed away. And I did know her. Um, I hadn't seen her in quite a few years, but um, I did know her. And um, so my mother-in-law found out on Wednesday, I believe, of our vacation that my uh, father-in-law's brother and also his sister and her daughter from Jacksonville, Florida were coming up and staying at their house. And they were coming on Friday, I think, and leaving on Sunday after the service. So we came home on Thursday. We came home on Thursday and uh, but then uh, my poor mother-in-law had to jump right in and start um, getting her house ready for company because she hadn't been home all week. At least um, nobody, my father-in-law hadn't been there either. He, he took the occasion of us being out of town for him to go out of town. So there was nobody there to dirty up the house. But still, she had to change sheets on the bed. You know, you know ladies when you have company you know what you have to do so then I got they came up and we got to visit and 
So we went to the funeral. The funeral was at Calvary Episcopal Church, which is absolutely gorgeous. I actually have some family members buried there as well. And um, it was graveside only, and it looked like it was going to rain. They were calling for chances of rain. And so everybody has their umbrella. But no, the clouds parted, the sun came out, and it was hotter than blazes. I actually started getting sick. I felt it coming on. I do not do well in the sun. I am the girl who, if I'm under the uh, beach umbrella at the beach or in the shade, preferably, I do fine. And that was my vacation at the beach. I never uh, got out in the actual, laid in the sun. I always laid in the shade, and that was fine for me. So, anyway, standing in one spot and the sun beating down on me. I opened my umbrella, but I could still feel it coming on. I was like, and I don't know if you've been to an Episcopal service, but everything was written out for us. So I'm following along. I could see, you know, how far we were going, where we were in the service. And I was like, okay. At the very end, I'm like, Brian, I gotta get in the shade. So I rushed and Got in some shade, ended up going inside the church, getting something to drink and just cooling off a little bit. But uh, there was a couple of people that were there. There was a lot of older people there. And a couple actually got heat strokes and ambulances were called. And it was it was that it was that hot. So we got out of there, I got the air conditioning and then I straightened up and started feeling better but I hate that feeling and therefore I know for a fact I am not in any way shape or form ready to go to Disney I couldn't do Disney now uh, I don't know if or when I'd ever be able to go back to Disney I mean I'd have to tell myself okay you can't stand in any line so no riding rides it would just be walking around and therefore it's not worth the money for me which is sad it's sad although my niece and her future husband could get me in for free that would be about the only way I'd go that I would not be able to stand in line and ride rides I didn't show you I'm using my Too Faced sparkling pineapple palette which actually needs cleaned up a little bit I just put this one on now I'm looking for I think I'm going to go with this one right here and put it in my transition shade, my transition, put it in my transition area. There we go. So that was my little, I was a week ago Sunday, it was last Sunday that happened to me. Very scary, because if I had passed out, that would have been bad, which I have been known to do. I just, I can't handle it anymore. Since having cancer, things have changed for me. I don't know if I'll ever go back to the way I was before. I might, this might be my new normal. And that's okay, I just have to deal with it. So, if we go take my son to Disney or Universal, we'll just get a really nice hotel. I'll just hang out by the pool and Nathan can just go. Do his thing. My husband does not care for theme parks. He only goes because of us. So, I don't think it would hurt him too much either. But just so it, somewhere Nathan could go and walk to the theme park. I'm going to go with this one now. I love this palette. This is one of my favorites. It's just, it's very neutral. And I just love the color story of it. Let me do some blend with this brush, I think. So, 
what else can we talk about? I've been, I've been packing, packing, packing. Um, it's getting closer and closer. I'd like to maybe get a, order my pod. I'm going to use pods and do one pod because we're moving so much to our storage building that I think uh, what we move there we can put in a U-Haul truck and Brian can take that and I think it would come out much cheaper. So um, we're going to do one big pod and then uh, see what size U-Haul truck we need and that's going to that's going to be how we move. I'm going to take that same brown and go underneath line under my lower lash line. So I'm thinking I want the pod in August and get the house listed um, in September. Do some minor things, a little painting, you know, cleaning. Um, and then hopefully it sells pretty quick. And then we will turn right around and start really looking to try to get a house. The hard part's going to be buying a house. The easy part's going to be selling the house. All right. What do I want on my lid? I do love this green duochrome. It's green and brown. I don't think it's going to show up good. Duochromes, uh, multichromes, just... They don't show up well on camera, but I do like that, and I think I am going to use my finger to apply it, and I'm going to apply it to the outer corner. All right, I th think I'm going to, that's pretty, I'm going to go with this light color here with my finger this color and I'm gonna apply it on the front half ah flaking on my shirt flaking on my shirt there we go that is very pretty I like that okay I am loving this merit mascara I really am I can tell my lashes are really growing <clears throat> from my glaucoma medication, my drops. My eyes watering now because I, I was coughing. I cut the coughing out. <clears throat> I have a little tickle in my throat. And I know you guys don't want to hear me cough. So I always edit those out. So if you ever see a, like a weird little edit, like why did she edit there? It's probably because I coughed. <clears throat> I have other mascaras I need to use up, but when it comes time to buy one, which it will at some point, I will need to buy mascara. I've got so many um, stacked. I probably got about, I'd say probably around 15 mascaras in there. Some of them, most of them are small sizes and I go through them quickly, so. But when it comes time to buy a mascara, I'm going to buy this Merit. I really like it that much. I am really a fan of it. There we go. Yeah, these lashes are really growing. There we go. Ooh, looks pretty good. I'm happy with that look. I love this palette. I love that palette. <clears throat> Let's get these brushes out of the way. I pulled out my Cover FX, what is this called? The Perfector Face Palette in light medium. I really like this. So I'm going to use the bronzer, the blush, and a highlighter out of this. 
the bronzer in here they call contour and it is looks like it would be a really good contour shade I'm gonna use it as a blood as a bronzer I didn't get a lot of Sun at the beach and that's because I didn't lay out in the Sun but I do have tan lines so I did get some Sun but I never burned or anything I just I got some color which was fine with me I wasn't in any I'm not a person that's gonna I used to but no longer am I a person that bakes in the Sun nor could I think nor do I think I could handle it anymore because I just can't take the sun. It's probably a lot of that medications I'm on. I don't know, but it might be my age. I just can't. I can't take the sun. Bless. <clears throat> there we go. It's very pretty. I'm liking this look. Alright, and then for highlighter, which one do I want to go for? I've got two different choices here. I think I'm going to go champagne. Champagne color. Probably need a brush for it. Okay, now lips. I'm going to go with this um, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I got for um, the Chinese, Chinese New Year. Yeah. Matte Revolution and my color is Walk of a Star. It's a pretty, like a brick kind of red. <clears throat> and I just think that would look good with this look today. There we go. I love this color. <clears throat> so that's it. That is my look for today. I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you did, I would love it if you would subscribe um, if you are new to my channel and hit that like button. I would appreciate that. Uh, any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Thanks for spending some time with me and I will see you guys next time.